How do you do, Mr. Gutman? We begin well, sir. I distrust a man who refuses a drink. A man who has to be careful when he drinks is a man who is not to be trusted when he does. Well, sir, here's to plain speaking and clear understanding. You're a closed mouthed man? No, I like to talk. Better and better. I distrust a closed mouthed man. He generally picks the wrong time to speak, and when he does, he generally says the wrong thing. Talking is something that you can't do judiciously unless you keep in practice. <clears throat> now, sir, we'll talk if you like, and I'll tell you right out that I'm a man who likes talking to a man who likes to talk. Swell. Will we talk about the blackbird? <laughs> you are the man for me, sir. No beating around the bush, just straight out with it. Very well, by all means, let's talk about the blackbird. But first, answer me one question. Are you here as Miss O'Shaughnessy's representative? There is nothing certain about it. Either way, yet. It depends. No. Well, sir, if I told you, if I told you even half, you would call me a liar. <laughs> no. Not even if I thought so. But you just tell me what it is, and I will figure out the rest of the profits. You mean you don't know what the bird is? I know what it's supposed to look like. I know the value in human life you put on it. She didn't tell you what it is, and Cairo didn't either. He offered me 10000 for it. 10,000, and dollars, mind you, not even pounds. They must know what it is, must. But do they? <laughs> Tell me, do they know what it is? What is your impression? There's not much to go by. Cairo didn't say he did, and he didn't say he didn't. She said she didn't, but I took it for granted she was lying. That was not an injudicious thing to do. That means that I'm the only person in this whole wide, sweet world who knows what it is. Swell. When you tell me, that will make two of us. Mathematically correct, sir. But I'm not completely sure that I'm going to tell you what it is. Don't be foolish. You know what it is. I know where it is. That's why I'm here. Well, sir, where is it? You see, I must tell you what I know, but you will not tell me what you know. That is hardly equitable, sir. No, no, I don't think we can do business along those lines. Think again and think fast. I told that gunman of yours that you'd have to talk to me before you got through. I'll tell you now that you'll do your talking today or you are through. What are you wasting my time for? I can get along without you. Well, sir, I must say you fight the violent temper. Think it over. You have to 5.30. Then you're either in or out for keeps. Terry. Hey. Where did you get that hat? I got it on the street for a dollar. It's nice. It's pretty much your standard long hat. Yeah, I had a very similar reaction to it. Can I get that money from you? Yeah, sorry.
all you have? Yeah. Can't you borrow some from your brother? I could, but that would involve me speaking to him. Sure. I'm gonna be gone for a couple of months, okay? Why do you have to stay so long? Because my sister is not a bank, you my know? My brother's I can't just not ask... a bank. Oh, Sheila, can we just cut this pure hour crap? I'll be back just as soon as I can. I'm not the kind of man that everyone says I'm. I know you're not. I'll call you tonight. Don't you want to tell me you love me? I really think that you should, after this is over, you should move back in. Oh, yeah. All right. Are you going to call tonight? Hey, Terry. Oh, hey. Where'd you get that hat? Oh, well, just, you know, on the street for a dollar. It's nice. Yeah, it's standard woolen hat, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I had a very similar reaction to it. Um, so can I get that money from you? Yeah, sorry. Is that all you got? Yeah, sorry. Can you get more from your brother? I, I could, but... That would involve me speaking to him. Well, I'm going to be gone for at least a couple days. Why do you have to be gone for so long? Well, my sister's not a bank. My brother's not a bank. Can we just cut the pure old crap? I'll be back as soon as I can. I'm not the kind of man everybody thinks I am. I know you're not. I'll call you tonight. Don't you want to tell me you love me? I love you. That was convincing. Look, when this whole thing's over, I think maybe you should consider moving back home. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. Definitely.